assalamu alaikum everyone welcome to the course of digital logic design today we are solving some example problems of latches example 1 determine the q output waveform if the input shown in figure 01 below are applied to a d latch which is initially reset so the initial state of the latch is reset and as you know in a d latch we have a data input and the enable input so the signal for enable is also given the data signal is also given so let's review back what we have covered in d latch so looking into the function table of d latch we see that if the enable is zero the uh, previous condition of the latch will not be changed and if the enable is one whatever data available at zero will be available at the output okay so let's solve this one so as we know that latch is a response to the signal high level so we know that initially it is it was reset and then uh, as this enable gets high the data will be transferred to the output q which is high okay now at this state the enable is zero so the previous state will not change previous state was a high signal at the output q so it will remain high unless another uh, signal low level occurs okay so let me do it again then another signal high so now the data is low so the output q will be low for this time it will continue until another signal high level occurs and then we have sig uh, data level is high so the the data available will be transferred to q which is output q and similarly the data the enable is low so the q high will continue and then we have enable signal high for all the time so whatever data available here will be totally transferred to q so at this state we have a low q and then we have a sorry a high q because data is high then data is low and then data is high and so on okay so if i am going to draw this view form more neatly it will look like this one so finally this will be the uh, solution of uh, the problem which is to find the q waveform given the d and enable waveforms now let's solve the second problem example 2 determine the q output waveform if the inputs shown in figure 02 are applied to a sr latch with a controlled input we also can call it is a gated latch gated sr latch that is initially reset so the initial condition is at reset we have the sr waveforms and then the enable input so let's see the function table of uh, sr latch with the controlled input so uh, we can see the function table of sr latch with the controlled input if enable is zero no matter what what is the value of s and r there will be no change in the previous state if enable is one then we have four more conditions for uh, s is equal to 1 r is equal to 0 the latch will be in the set state for uh, for 0 0 there will be no change in the previous state then for 0 1 it will be in the reset state and finally the 1 1 is the forbidden condition so hopefully there will be no forbidden condition given in the waveforms uh, i have given the function table of sr waveform with the control input also here so you can see that whenever enable is zero the there is no change in the previous state so initially it was in reset state so the previous state is reset so for q it will be equal to zero so let me draw the waveforms for q so we have the initial condition is zero so q will remain zero then enable is active high and s is 1 and r is zero so it will be in the set state so q will be equal to 1 and then enable becomes zero so the latch will then remain at its previous state okay 
then we have another active high level so in this case we have r is equal to 1 and s is equal to 0 so that refers to this this state r is uh, 1 and s is 0 so here we, the layer will be in the reset state where q will be equal to 0 it will remain 0 because now we have no uh, enable is equal to 0 uh, and so it will remain in the previous state so in third case we have another active high signal so this is 1 uh, 0 and 1 so it will again uh, go into the set state it will remain in the set state and finally we will have uh, this is 0 0 so it means that uh, now we have another enable active high signal but in this case we have 0 0 so at 0 0 there will be no change in the previous state so it will remain active high okay the q will remain active high okay so let's draw this waveform more neatly you can now you can see the more clear and uh, neat waveform of the q output for any questions right here in your comment section if you have still any confusions, write in the comment section. Thank you.